Uh, this is just a quick summary of some of the things that um, my husband and I found when we put up our Climapod greenhouse. Um, I am an orchid grower and it's just a hobby, uh, but this turned out to be perfect for us. Uh, and I did a lot of research ahead of time to figure out what would be the most economical uh, greenhouse for me. And um, the only thing I can say is, is I wish I would have gone just a little larger. So this is a uh, Virtue 9, it's like 9, 7 by 21 or so. Um, I do have, those are misting, it's a misting system in here. Um, I think that's by Mist King. I have um, a couple of controllers that monitor my humidity and my temperature. I have a luminet over one half of the greenhouse uh, because I have a lot of orchids that require less sun. Um, we've had like kind of rainy days the last couple of days, so some of them are very happy to just get some. The way I have it configured is, is by the time it gets too sunny and too hot, it hits the illuminate. So these get morning sun and um, afternoon is not quite as intense. Although the back section of the greenhouse stays fairly bright all day. Which brings me to my whole thing is, is figure out what you're gonna be growing in your greenhouse and be very careful for your site location. Um, I used an app called Sunseeker, which helped me um, like align it take into consideration that you're gonna have trees around it, but the Sunseeker app will give you an idea of um, where the sun is gonna be at different times of the year. And uh, so we, we were able to really carefully place this. Um, also make sure you choose the correct foundation, but I'll get into that a little bit more. One of the things that Climapod offers is um, lots of YouTube videos and use it. Um, the YouTube videos were awesome. The other thing you can do is download your instructions for the greenhouse prior to. Um, I would say that that is um, a must. You just gotta be able to know what you're gonna do, then look at the YouTube videos, figure out where other people had problems, um, and gave you hints and stuff, and go with it. Um, we've, we've been really happy with it. Um, one of the other things that I would recommend when you're starting to put things together is get yourself a pair of hemostats. Um, this will help when you're doing um, screws and nuts. It'll allow you to be able to get in, hold the screw, get the nut on, um, and it's like an extra pair of hands and it kind of locks the nut off for you while you're working. This we found this to be invaluable and sometimes you're going through a couple of layers of metal with a screw and so um you know we're older my husband and i are 61 and 70 and um we were able to do this you can do it too uh but get your get everything that you need together um we used ladders uh we used um i can't remember the name of them uh the stuff that painters stand on um, to get to high spaces. We had one of those. Uh, we used bungee cords to help us put keep things in place while we were getting another piece in place. Um, caulk, make sure you caulk. I guess it's not, we use like, um, I believe it's, it's not acrylic, it's a clear, it's what they recommend to use to keep your greenhouse panels in place. Um, and we did it on both sides. So we clocked on both sides. Um, one of the other things, I do heat in here before we move out of here. I heat, um, my, most of my orchids uh, need to have at least 50 degrees um, during the winter. I keep it more like 55 to 60 degrees in here. That's a propane heater. I'm using, I believe it's a 50,000 BTU. Um, I also, one of the issues that I did have in here is, is once we caught everything, um, it was really super tight. So what I had to do is I put 
like some air exchange tubes. And then when we have the heater on, I have a fan that sits here that blows, pulls in fresh air. And those will have to be cleaned out before next winter. But um, my other comment is we live in uh, Georgia, so central Georgia. So it does stay fairly warm, although we had like a long string of, of uh, a long string of really cold nights. Um, and it just kept going for a long time. So uh, yeah, we do, we needed heat. And we went through, I have a 250 gallon tank. We went through one and a half tanks from like, it was like October. Yeah, it got cold here in October until literally just about two weeks ago. So um, I was able to turn off the heat then, but we were still getting chilly nights. I don't know how often it kicked on, but I still had that option. Um, okay, so let's let's move outside so I can show you some of the other things. All right. Uh, okay, before we go, one more thing. This is your first, as you go from the door, this is your first, like, I want to call it a rib because it's much heavier than the other parts that you're going to be using. This is critical, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but when you put this in, this lip part needs to be facing the door. Um, this is where we got hung up, and all we had to do is go back and look at YouTube videos, but it was a pain in the rear. If you can, if you can avoid this, you're going to find you know, get it right the first time, like we did not do, you're gonna find that this whole thing goes up really great and really quick. So let me move to the outside and I'll show you how we did our, I have shade cloth in the door. Um, this keeps some of my stuff from getting too much sun during the day. Door also, I added handles on the inside. It was really a good idea. Okay, so out in front here, I added a little section onto the front because I keep my doors open. Um, and I don't want, uh, we have literally a heron that comes in to try and eat the fish. Um, we have dogs that may get out and want to drink. Uh, we have the occasional cow that breaks loose. And so this is like just to kind of keep them from getting in there and hopefully if I mean I think it wouldn't hold a cow but it at least would keep them from thinking about going in for a little while until we could figure out they were in front okay um, we used pressure treated board or four by fours for our base biggest thing get your site picked you gotta get everything level and square all of these bricks that we have out here whatever you want to call them um, we used to keep stuff square and then once they were in we just kept them in we filled those with rock and eventually we're going to get more rock and fill them all the way up it keeps everything down the other thing that we did is we fastened our base into the ground with um spikes uh you can get them off of on, on like Amazon or something for the length you need and then you can just drill through and pound them down so that holds you only see one out here the rest of them are all inside um, but you can get them in really easily the other thing we did is, is we caulked everything down if we like some of these bricks were a little bit they weren't we wanted them to kind of stick to the whole side so anyway that's what we did there's our luminette there's where the, and I can even open up those vents with the Illuminate over it. You just don't put everything so tight. Um, like the Illuminate, make, give it some play. Um, let's see, we'll go around to the back. So you can see, I mean, we caulked everything. Some of it, some of it's not so pretty, but it does its job. So here are those rib pieces. This is the last one. And you can see, this is what it looks like from the outside. So, this is, like I said, this is your critical part. So, just to get the, by the times you do, you do your first section, you'll get it right. 
Okay, and there's another one of those. I had a couple extra ones, so I just dug them through. Um, vent. I like this vent. I think it's really good. I thought it was better. I mean, we have built greenhouses before. I prefer this vent to other more expensive vents. Um, this seems to work better. Uh, the only thing I might want to do is figure out a way to auto automate it. Um, I use fans. That's why I wanted to get out of there because it, before it gets too sunny in there because the sound is going to be tough. But I use um, solar. I did not get their solar fans because I knew my exchange needed to be way more than what was in there. Okay, so you can see how my... And these... These air um, windows, roof windows, I really like them. Um, they're much easier to operate than some of the other ones that I've had in other greenhouses. Um, and they seem to like stay the, they're, they're not super heavy, they're easy to open. But the whole thing is, is to get everything square. So uh, that's really important. Um, square and level, you gotta do that. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Um, again, we're in central Georgia. So um, this is our, you know, this is it from the, from the back. Not real pretty, because we're still doing stuff. I need to dig in my electric to, and put a, a panel in there. Um, like I said, we did ours in October of last year. So this is our first summer with it. So far we've had um, summer, you know, we've had days in so far, I mean, it's only June, whatever, 5th or something, um, into the 90s. Um, and the air movement is pretty good here. So you can see how we have this located though, just to give you an idea, is this, yeah, we have trees behind it because they shade from the hottest part of the day so by four o'clock in here, we're starting to get some shade, um, which is really good for us because the heat then can get so intense. Um, I need lots of humidity in there. So sometimes even at five o'clock, I go out and I shut everything down, uh, not the fans, but I shut all the windows and lock it up to keep the humidity in there during the night. Um, and then my, my um, Miss King doesn't go off, so I don't have wet stuff sitting there. But the humidity in the air is still high. So um, I think that's about it. I think I got everything. I'm looking. I use a sensor push in there as well, um, which is a little, it gives me the temperature and the humidity, and it's, it's Wi-Fi. So I know what's going on in here at night or any time that I want to check. So I have an idea of how well it works or how well everything is holding its temperature and how hot stuff is in here. Um, I think that's it. I think I've got everything. Like I said, the only other thing I would say is get your directions. Your directions are right. These things are built um, the same way. So if you're having a problem I can guarantee it's you. Uh, you've somehow either not understood it or just put it together right because you put it together the wrong way because you thought that was it. Because sometimes th things seem like you're doing it right and then you're going to find out it's not. Go ahead, call Climapod if you have problems. Um, look at the YouTube videos. I can tell you Climapod, I mean, I don't get texts or emails. I get phone calls, um, so you don't even get that anymore. I mean, who calls people? They call you, they'll put you in the right, to, you know, the, they'll send you to the right places to figure out what you're doing wrong. Um, I'm thrilled with it. It was a good investment. Like I said, I did a lot of research prior to. Um, it's working for us, so we're really, really happy with it. Take care, stay safe. Uh, for COVID, this has been like a lifesaver because it just gives us something to do. Um, don't hesitate, I guess that's what it is. And if, if, a, if a, you know, we're not the skinniest people on the face of the earth. <laughs> so if my husband and I can do this, you can do it too.
Take care. Bye-bye.